Hello, students. How are you guys today? Welcome to our live lesson. So today we are going to talk about the difference between get and take. Okay, so this has been um, a highly requested lesson. So we're going to get into it. Get or take. Okay, so these are basic English verbs that we use a lot in speaking. Um, we use them a lot in different expressions. We're gonna take a look at the basics today, okay? Hello, everyone, welcome. Uh, before we jump into the lesson, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I, uh, you can also follow me on Facebook. I think you can turn on notifications there as well um, so that you know when I go live. And um, you can follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Okay, hello, hello. Happy to see you also. Welcome. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I hope you're ready to start the lesson. Okay, so we are going to Share, there we go. Okay, get or take, get or take. Very good. Um, so these are just some basic English verbs, but they often get confused, okay? So um, let's take a look at each one and then we'll, we'll do a little bit of a quiz at the end, okay? Hello from Canada, hello from Peru. Very good, okay. So let's look at get first, get, okay? Meaning, come to have something. So come to have something. For some reason, you have something, right? So synonyms are obtain, receive, acquire, so I would think that obtain, receive, and acquire, yes, these are all synonyms of get, um, but they're probably a little bit uh, more formal, okay? A little bit more formal. Get is, you know, used in conversation all the time, every day. So um, I would say get is one that you'll need to know how to use because we use it so, so much. Um, it's more casual. We often use it in conversation. Um, but synonyms are obtain, receive, acquire. Okay, very good. Oh, I get some money from my mom. That's a good example. Very good. So you obtain it. You receive it. Okay. Um, so here are just two simple examples. So let's take a look. I got a new bike from my parents. I got a new bike from my parents. Um, so just a reminder here. I know in some countries, uh, like in Japan, when I say bike, you think like motorcycle, motorbike. Um, bike in American English is usually a bicycle, a bicycle, but we often shorten it to bike when we're talking. So I got a new bike or bicycle from my parents. Okay, so we're using got here because you received it. My parents gave me a new bike. So I received it, I got it, okay? I got a new bike from my parents. You wouldn't use take in this sentence. So if you use take, it sounds like you stole it from your parents. I took a new bike from my parents. Okay, so be careful. The next one, I included this one because uh, it's a little bit relevant um, with the vaccine, right? Um, and I often hear my students making a mistake with this one. So did you get the vaccine yet? Did you get the vaccine yet? So when we talk about a vaccine or um, uh, we could just call it a shot, a shot. Did you get your shot yet? Did you get the vaccine yet? So a lot of my students would say take here 
Uh, I took the vaccine. Did you take the vaccine? Um, so for a vaccine or shots, we do not say take, we would say get because we are receiving it. A nurse or a doctor is injecting you. So you are receiving it, okay? You are not taking it, you're receiving it, okay? So did you get the vaccine yet? I hope you all have gotten the vaccine. Uh, oh, very good. Oh, I got a new car yesterday, wonderful. Is that a true story? Did you actually get a new car? If so, great. Uh, let's see, I see a lot of examples uh, here, so I'll just show some. Um, ah, she gets her haircut every couple of weeks. Very good, so to get something done, um, we did a lesson on that on uh, a previous week about get or have um, with processes, good job. Okay, excellent. Let's take a look at take, okay, take. So I have two meanings here. Actually, there are many ways to use take, but we're gonna focus on these two meanings, okay? Um, because they are very similar and they often get confused with get, okay? So meaning number one is to move something from point A, point A to point B, okay? For example, your phone. Uh, I took my phone to the living room. I took my phone to the office, okay? You're moving it, moving it. Um, meaning number two is to remove something usually without permission, okay? So to remove something without permission. Um, so that means that you take something without asking, okay? Very good. So uh, let's look at the examples. Okay, so example number one, can you take your bike, so bicycle, can you take your bike to the repair shop? Can you take your bike to the repair shop? So that means you are moving your bicycle, your bike from point A, maybe your house, to point B, the repair shop. So you are actually moving it, okay? Example number two, did you take my book? I can't find it. So did you remove my book without permission? I can't find it. Did you take my book? Did you take my book? Okay, is that understandable? Oh, very good. Ah, can you take me to the school? Very good. Just a quick note, if, uh, if you are talking about the school that you are always attending, um, your regular school, not just a building, um, we don't actually need to use the. Can you take me to school? Can you take me to school today? Very good, okay. Ah, I got my car fixed. Yes, this is using get um, for having something done for you, okay? So somebody else is doing it, okay? Oh, thank you, I am well. Ah, okay, my grandfather has taken the vaccine and now he feels much better. Very good example. Just be careful because when we talk about the vaccine or a injection, a shot, we use get. My father or my grandfather um, got the vaccine, has gotten the vaccine, and now he feels much better. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> my brother took my snacks. Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, awesome, awesome job, very good. Ah, did you take my wallet? So it did is already in the past, we're asking a question. Did you take my wallet from my pocket? Excellent, so this is without permission, 
you moved it without permission. Very good. Okay, let's take a little bit of a quiz. So here we are. We have six questions, six questions. So we're going to use get or take, okay? And um, be careful because we're going to change uh, the verb depending on the sentence, okay? So get, got, gotten, take, took, taken, okay? So let's try. Uh, so number one. Oh, hello. It's okay if you're late so you can uh, continue continue watching with us. So we're just taking a little bit of a quiz. Okay, so number one. It's raining, so you should hmm, your umbrella. Mm. Which one do you think is the best answer? Oh, very good. Hite? Am I saying your your name right, Hite? Oh, Ali Awan is here. Hello. Very good. Okay. So this is an easy one, I hope. Oh, actually, I see some people saying get, some people saying take. So the best answer for number one is take. It's raining, so you should take your umbrella, okay? Take your umbrella from your house, point A to point B. Okay, number two. I hope I don't sick. So this one, um, uh, we didn't go over, but it's a very common one, so I put it in here. Oh, very good. You guys are so fast. Good job. So number two, I hope I don't get sick. Very good, very good. So we would say get sick. And I think we say get sick maybe because we receive some, you know, illness. We uh, obtained some kind of illness, right? So we get sick. Um, uh, we get sick, um, catch a cold, have a fever. We'll probably go over those at another time, but just remember, get sick, get sick. Okay. Number three, someone broke into her house and hmm, her laptop. Very good. Remember, we're going to change the verb to fit the sentence. Excellent. You guys are so good. Okay. Write your answer in the comments. Someone broke into her house and her laptop. Very good. So the correct answer is took. Someone broke into her house. So um, uh, to break in to someone's house means maybe um, you go to someone's house without their permission. You break a window. Um, usually this is a very bad thing. You can get arrested. Uh, so don't break into people's houses. Okay. And they took her laptop. So without permission, they did not ask her. Uh, they just took it. Okay. Number four, you shouldn't mm, things without asking. Oh, very good. You shouldn't mm, things without asking. Oh, very good. I see lots of correct answers. Remember to put it in the correct uh, verb form, okay? You shouldn't take things without asking. So this is a general statement. It is talking about all the time. You shouldn't take things without asking. Very good. Number five, number five. I mm, a raise. Does everyone understand what a raise is? Hmm. Ah, you didn't notice the past tense. Yeah, uh, it's tricky. Oh, very good. Okay, I see some different answers for number five. So if you don't know what a raise is, um, usually when you are um, working, when you're working at a company, you get a salary and it's the same every month. But if you do a very good job, you can get a raise. So here, 
I got a raise. Very, very happy. Yay, I got a raise. So it means I got more money. So because this is talking about money um, and your boss probably decides how much you get, um, we're going to use the verb get. Um, I got paid. I got a raise, okay? So we wouldn't say I took a raise. Um, that sounds like you just took it without asking anyone. That <laughs> probably can't happen, right? So you can ask for a raise and then once they say, okay, I got a raise, very good. Number six, you will see this a lot if you go shopping in, um, for example, in the US. Buy one, oh, I should have wrote it the same way. Buy one, mm, one free. So imagine this is the number one. <laughs> Buy one, mm, one free. Ah, okay, we have some mixed answers. We have some people saying get, some people saying take. Okay, so this is a very, very common thing that you will see maybe um, in stores. So what is usually always written is buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Or sometimes it just says buy one, get one. And they don't say free, but they mean free. So um, this is uh, buy one. So if you buy, for example, you buy one notebook, you get one notebook free. So you are able to receive it. It's kind of like a present, a present. So when we are receiving something, we use get. Take means maybe you're just taking it without asking, okay? So be careful. Buy one, get one free. So you are receiving something. Very good. Okay. Was that tricky or was that super easy? Let me know in the comments. There were six questions. Did you get all six correct? Let me know. Okay. And um, I'm working on a ton of new lessons. So thank you for your patience. Um, it's been very, very busy for me recently. Um, so I'm trying to get everything done. Uh, and yes, I've been going to the doctor a lot and all kinds of things, but um, I'm trying my best to keep a schedule and uh, to keep putting out new lessons. Oh, very good. I got five out of six, five out of six, six out of six, wonderful. Oh, six out of six, nice job. Four out of six, pretty good. Four, four out of six, good job, good job. So if you have um, any questions on some of them, I hope I was able to explain the answers. If you still have some questions, watch the explanation one more time and then come back later and, and take the quiz again. Okay, thank you so, so much. And I will see you in uh, a lesson in a little bit. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.